Oh, the Gold Coast and the Broadwater are bloody hectic places to be anchored, I'll tell you that. We've been here two days now, well, two and a half days, and wow, we're anchored here at the end of Bums Bay. Obviously, it's a rolly place, and during the day, it has lived up to that, obviously. At night, it's nice and calm, actually. Yeah, obviously, we're here at the probably the busiest time of the year, just the next day after New Year's and that, and everyone's out, and there's about... Oh, the whole swarms of jet skis and tourist boats and jet boats and stink big stink boats and oh just crazy amounts of stuff anyway so we are very happy to leave as you can see probably got the sail up and we are departing the gold coast and sailing down to yamba today overnight it's uh two o'clock in the afternoon now we're going to be uh, overnighting arriving down there at sunrise got a bit of a northerly and we've got to get in before uh, lunchtime tomorrow because then there's a really strong southerly turn coming up so we've got to get there by then and crossing this bar on the way out and crossing that bar on the way in so we're going to sort out the tides pretty good this will be the furthest that either of us have been south actually I've never been in a boat further south than this um, well mum obviously not and uh, Marie obviously not as well so this is our first expedition to the south How are you feeling, Mum? Happy to be doing this? Yes. Yeah, it's an adventure. A bit nervous. So we're exiting through the south port, south, south, whatever, the bar here in uh, Gold Coast. There's quite a few waves out there, so I'm probably going to get bounced around a bit, but it should be all good. So any bar crossing obviously needs to be treated with respect. Um, the Gold Coast bar is, yeah. It's a pretty deep and safe one, um, pretty much go over any tide. But because we're going through today on an outgoing tide, we uh, all had life jackets and harnesses on, but it turned out to be pretty mellow, as you can see, just a couple of waves, and then we were out. So that's us out in the ocean now. Probably see Gold Coast over there. Yeah, and there. How was that, Mum? Um, a little bit exciting. <laughs> Not at all, inside. There's a couple of waves, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we only got two waves, a couple of meters, bit of a bang, as you probably saw. But yeah, it was all good. And now we've got the sails out, and I haven't figured out the course yet, but we're out here. And yeah, we're doing seven and a half. We're going to try and average six to seven the whole way down, as we need to get down there at the right time to get into the Yamba Bar. But uh, we should be all good. Also, we'll get the current soon, and that's one or two knots going south, so that'll help out, and we'll just rip on down. Should be fun. Oh, that's cool. The big skyscrapers disappear behind the waves. How are you feeling, babe? Stressed. Stressed and nervous. I think uh, I need to cry a little bit just to <laughs> reset my, myself. But yeah, the bar crossing, the swell, uh, we didn't sail for quite a while. And probably the weather also, because they are saying the, maybe it's going to have strong wind in the next day. So I really hope we're going to arrive in time before that and all together I'm um, a bit panicking but it's okay too fast As you can see, we're ripping along. We're in the current, the southerly going current right now. We're only on the edge of it though. Um, we're getting about a knot, a knot and a half with us, which means we're doing high nines and tens now. I've tried to slow down. I've, I'm gonna put another reef in the main, I think. 
because we don't need to go that fast at all. We sort of misjudged uh, our speed a little bit. Um, yeah, we could have just made it a day trip actually. If we'd left early in the morning, we would have been there by now. Because I didn't realize we'd been going this fast and we're not, we could be going two knots faster. So, yeah, misjudged that. But anyway, it's relatively comfortable. Um, the swell's from the east and the wind's from the north. There's a bit of a side swell, but it's not too bad. And everything's going well. Marie's had a bit of a sleep and is feeling much better. Isn't she? So yeah, I'm feeling a bit better. I didn't really slept actually. I, I've i got quite of a technique that I'm closing my eyes and trying hard to think about all the good things I like on land and being in a comfortable place in my head. In general it works and I think I did that for, I don't know, one or two hours maybe and try to relax and I think also the movement is a bit more comfortable now so I'm feeling way better but of course it's questioning a bit myself about my ability to sailing to Tasmania and to New Zealand but yeah I suppose it's gonna improved with the time i mean we, we didn't sail for quite a long time we stayed in brisbane and yeah in the marina in a super calm place we went a lot on land and i know that in general if i'm doing that when we are going back on the sea i'm feeling less strong and i, I lost my my sea legs so yeah, I hope it's gonna coming back quite soon because it's really not comfortable. I was not really feeling like super vomity, but just like kind of super weak, uh, having ants in, in my hands and like if the blood was not coming in my head, it's a bit of a weird feeling, like having a lot of pressure around my neck. And yeah, when you're in this statement, you don't really know what to do. And I propose to take a pill, but I, I know that the pills are making me super high and I was already feeling bad and I don't want to feel worse. And no, I'm quite happy I didn't because yeah, just this time of laying down and relaxing, thinking of good things and now I'm feeling better. Right, well we just tried to film putting in a second reef but I forgot to push the, um, my mum was holding the camera and doing a good job of filming me when I was telling you how I reef and showing you it all and then I realised there's no red light and it wasn't filming so I'd forgotten to push the button so yeah, you'll just have to imagine the second reef unfortunately that's not funny Marie she's laughing at me anyway I put in the reef because I want to slow down and then yeah Chehelion just doesn't like to slow down so we're still with the second reef and we're still doing 10s and 11s constantly and we've only yeah we've only got a knot and a half so we're still, we are flying I went I was in the water for an hour and a half yesterday cleaning the bottom so that it's you know she's smooth and she is ripping through the water but yeah, I don't know what the next course of action is going to be to slow us down now because we're going three knots too fast. So yeah, I'm going to have to probably drop the, the, the head sail completely at some stage uh, to slow us down. Or maybe throw out a drogue. We do have a drogue actually. Uh, anyway, we'll keep you updated. So that's the New South Wales coast over there. Um, it's definitely a bit stormy and there's a bit of lightning and thunder around over there. We can hear. But I think that's sort of on land. I don't know if we're going to get that out here. It's, it's cloudy here, but it's not too bad. Should be all right. <laughs> I don't know if I did, but he's coming back around again. He went under the boat and jumped out the other side. We've got a couple of frisky dolphins playing with us. One really big one. Pretty cool. It's going on dark, so I hope I can see them again before it gets dark. As you can see, we don't have much sail up anymore. 
Uh, two reefs in the main and hardly any head sail. But we're still doing 10. Bloody stupid. Anyway, see the dolphins. Oh, they've gone now, just when I wanted to film them. Alrighty, we are 1.5 miles away from the, the bar into Yamba. Um, it was an interesting night. It was raining and squally and lightning and thunder and uh, very fast speeds and then very slow speeds I think we actually went backwards for about an hour and then uh, didn't yeah it didn't worry me because we were so far ahead on time and then yeah the wind died completely and now I've had to motor for the last three hours so a few extremes how was your night babe? I tried to eat at the dinner, but that didn't really work and yeah, I was still feeling pretty weak, so I was absolutely not useful and yeah, I'm not super proud of my performance. <laughs> Your sailing performance? Yeah. yeah. After three years on the boat ending like this, like, I'm not super proud yet. Uh, she had a bit of a slap. New South Wales gave her a little slap. Yeah. And mum did well? Enjoy your first night? Yeah, yeah I did. I was really surprisingly comfortable in my little bed. Yeah? <laughs> you have some sleep? Yeah, snatches of sleep. Yeah. Probably woke up every hour. That's pretty good. I think I only got about maybe two, two and a half hours sleep, so I am pretty tired now. But um, yeah, we'll get in there, throw the anchor down and have a bit of a snooze. Right, we are approaching the bar entrance here in Yamba. It's uh, this an easterly swell, so it's probably running straight in the entrance. It's not ideal, but it's not very big, so we should be pretty casual. We've got our life jackets and tethers on, and uh, yeah, I'll leave this thing here. Leave this GoPro running through as we go through. As we approached, we saw a pretty big set go through, and we we're all a bit like, "Whoo, this could be a bit sketchy," but. We waited for another set and then pulled in straight behind it, full power on the engine and just um, had two rollers on the side uh, and then turned up the channel and bang we were in and it was um, yeah a bit of an anti-climax. From a distance the big rollers look pretty scary and then you find the little keyhole and you get between the rollers and boom you're in and it's all nice and calm and it was awesome. Entering in the Bay of Yamba was such a relief for me. After this overnight feeling pretty sick, I was so glad to be all of a sudden in a peaceful place surrounded by nature on the flattest sea you can have. Hello. Straight after dropping the anchor, while we were just starting to relax, we heard the noisy breath of marine mammal outside and discover a group of dolphins fishing around the boat. As the sun went down on our calm anchorage in Yamba, we were pretty excited to spend the next few days exploring the, the mighty Clarence River. What are we doing, Bert? Uh, it's midly early in the morning, not that much, but we are going up a river 
Clarence River, that's Clarence River. Clarence River. And we're gonna probably go under the last, I think it's the last bridge that it's humanly put up. So it's gonna be a nice experience to see that. So 10 miles up the river here, up the Clarence River, we come across a shipyard. And they're even building new ships here. Over there you can see a brand new one getting built. Pretty crazy. I wasn't expecting this. It is um, 10 metres deep all the way up this river though, so fair enough. So I love going up rivers, it's very, very interesting. Very cool to see all the houses and all this. Yep, now you're going to see the, the uh, tramway there that pulls the ships out of the water. So dead ahead of us we have the two bridges, a new one and an old one. Uh, they've kept the old one and apparently it is the last remaining or the oldest or the tallest, I don't know, there's something special about this lifting bridge. It lifts in the middle like you sort of American bridges do that and you have to uh, ring the guy 24 hours before which I, well I, yesterday I rang him but it wasn't quite 24 hours so hopefully he's going to come and lift the bridge for us to go through. And then, um, yeah, same coming down. You've got to call them the day before and tell them what time you're coming through. And then they lift it up, traffic stops, and you whiz on through. It'd be quite cool. Alright. Yeah, he's ready to go, he said. He say he's doing sign to say we can go. Yeah. Alright, the bridge is up. Pretty cool. There's about 50 cars on each side that have to wait for us two little sailboats on holiday to go through but um yeah pretty cool we don't have to pay anything for it it's still going up but he said we're okay now there's a little green and red light to tell you when to go but because of this new bridge it actually blocks the view of the lights so he just gave us a wave and said come on through thanks mate see the mask going through Seven and a half meters. I guess that's the pub over there. Well, that was easy. Oh, there's a the hotel. All right. Where are we at? Uh, I don't know the name of this city. Harwood. Harwood. Oof, what is that? Oh, what have you found, Mum? Oh, it's a dead bird. Oh, it's a bamboo. Looks like a skeleton of a... Okay. Hmm. Anyway, this is the Harwood Hotel. It's our first stop on our pub crawl up the river. Exactly. So we yep. just tied Shishi on this pontoon. There's a crisis from here and here. But it's not Let's go. inside but nice. Let's go to the pub. Look at this. Pelican flying. Wow. So it's cute. This is actually called Howard Island. Wow. It's gonna come in and land, they're gonna poop on us. Look at the size. <laughs> okay, we're gonna to go to the pub. It's apparently got a real good cook, a real good um, food here. Let me go and check it out. We've deserved it. It's been a hard day. We <laughs> motored, motored 10 miles up the river, waited for the bridge to open, and then tied up here. We're officially on holiday, guys. The boat has been reef fat, refitted. <laughs> Pretty much all the work is done, and uh, now we're enjoying ourselves. And uh, we're waiting for the a northerly to kick in so we can leave Yamber and go down to Port Stephens. But that's going to be another at least four days. What do you think of the menu? What are you having? Oysters. Which one? I think I'm gonna take the natural small one and probably the bruschetta. This is Josh and Mona. We met them along the way. They're sailing their vintage old wooden boat down to Tasmania for the Wooden Boat Festival. Who's the happy girl? It's me, it's me. It's 
to meet you. So did you come He's in a happy girl. It's very Monday. All right, day two on the mighty Clarence River. We left Harwood Hotel Jetty about an hour ago and we're just cruising slowly up with the current. And this to our left here is McLean, or McLean, not quite sure. It's a Scottish, it's called the Highlands of the Clarence or something like that. I think I just made that up, but it's anyway, it's a Scottish town. A lot of bagpiping people walking around apparently. And they've got three pontoons that we can use for free. And it looks like two of them are already full. We're going to try and pull up at another one. Apparently there's hot showers and water and power and everything on these ones. It's like luxury freedom. Where are we right now, babe? McLean. I hope I'm pronouncing well. It's uh, apparently a Scottish town. Let's go and check it out. Yep. As it is a Scottish town, they put all the pattern of a tartan, tartan, I don't know how you say in English, of the um, Scottish print in every electric poles in the city. It's quite nice. Our beautiful garden. That's our garden from the boat. Alone. Mm -mm, exactly. McLean's a pretty awesome little town. We had a great time walking around there. They've uh, yeah, they've kept it quite original. Most of the buildings are made out of red brick. There's no um, fast food restaurants, no chain stores, not even a Woolworths. The street names are even in English and Gaelic. Thought that was a pretty cool touch. And it was a real pleasure to walk around actually. And um, yeah, everyone was really friendly. Said hi. It was. Pretty cool, pretty cool place. Bon appétit. Barbecue at the beach. So Shehalian's moored just up there, you can see the mast. And we're here enjoying the facilities on the riverfront. Pretty cool, we can moor for free. We've got power and water there. We've got hot showers here. Free barbecue and tables and everything here. Beautiful river view. Can't really ask much more. It's a beautiful day, it's nice and warm. Yep. We've got some weirdo birds squeaking around in the background. Crazy loud, huh? What time they are stopping? Because in the night we never hear them. Here comes some more. Okay, we're about to leave McLean. Um, the current is pushing up the river and we're going to go down the river, but in about an hour it should change. So it shouldn't be a problem. We are hoping it's going to be an easy getaway. Let's go. All ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. See you down there. So the very efficient bridge man had the bridge all the way up by the time we got there. We sailed on through and then on the other side of the bridge we ended up having just really strong winds actually over 20 knots and we just powered the whole way down the river all the way down to Iluka. So it was a great run.
Right guys, this is the end of this little episode. Hope you enjoyed it. We had an amazing time here in the Clarence Valley, I guess you would call the whole place. We've been here about a week, six, seven days, and um, yeah, as you saw, stayed in a few different spots and had a great time. Really is a place that I could imagine spending a couple of months even. There's just so much to do and it's really a different vibe than Queensland and um, Gold Coast for sure. But yeah, it's amazing here. The temperature's good, the water's nice. Um, had some good swims, really nice people, good food everywhere we've been, reasonable prices, apart from the market, that was a bit of a rip off. But um, it's been an amazing stay here, but there is a northerly today. So we are gonna do the jump down to Port Stephens, which is about 240 miles. Anyway, I'll hand you over to Marie and she'll say her goodbyes and thanks and see you next time. As Vernon said, we are leaving Ailuka. I hope you can hear me with the wind. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Port Stephens. Uh, I'm trying to be not too nervous and I took a little bit of homeopathy and some specialty to help with seasickness because yeah, the last passage as you can see I was really seasick way more than ever, like maybe like the first time and it just need one time to really make you lose your confidence in sailing and questioning really everything about your choice of living on a boat and I would be not happy to stop this lifestyle just for that but yeah it's always a bit hard to see then for some people it's an evidence to be on a boat and feeling comfortable and for me it's after three years still a bit of fight but I mean there's so many good sides also so I think it's okay and technically with this good weather and this light wind I can imagine it's gonna be nice outside anyway thanks for watching this video i hope you really enjoy it a uh, special thanks for all our patrons thank you so much it's really good to know that you are behind us and we really appreciate every of the every of the dollars you are putting in or euros or i don't know what is your money and even just your engagement, all your messages and all your comments and things about our adventures are always super nice and we have a lot of pleasure to talk with you and answer all your questions. So I hope we're gonna see you next week and I'm gonna be in shape and not too sick.